यस एक्चुअली वो ही चल रहा था दिमाग में व्हेन यू आर एक्सप्रेसिंग योर वे ऑफ डूइंग थिंग्स सिंस वी हैड डन द रीडिंग पार्ट ऑफ इट राइट वी आल्सो कल से दिमाग चल रहा था वो शायद ये होगा शायद ये होगा काइंड ऑफ माई सेल्फ एंड बबल लिटिल मोर क्लियर और पिक्चर ओके प्लान हियर इज आफ्टर ऑब्जर्वेशन इट इज अजुअलाइजेशन दट as it goes observe uh, the abilities as it goes is first is observation then visualization then composition so since uh, observation was uh, taken up last time uh, we thought we'll uh, finish uh, visualization and uh, composition this time so i'll be sharing the screen give me a minute second mm. Can you see the screen? Yes, Rekha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, we won't go through the whole uh, theory behind visualization. Uh, I would want to uh, this uh, link been given by uh, posted by Aditi in uh, the parents of uh, ROE channel, uh, Sandhya. okay uh, okay i'll i'll just read the elements of uh, visual uh, visualization and then i'll go to what it is not okay uh, anyone wants to read or shall i go okay i'll go Hi. yeah yeah i can i can read yeah the just the first part of uh, elements of uh, visualization uh, elements of visualization okay <laughs> visualization for imagining so visualization through visual imagery is a, an effective way of communicating both abstract and concrete ideas since the dawn of man imagination is the ability to form new Im- images and sensations that are not perceived through sight hearing or other senses visualization for perspective visualize visualize situations from the view of another person look at things from an angle of another object example look at a book from a tree's perspective and third one visualization for application visualize something you want to create make or apply in real life example a dream house changes in the environment attending an interview etc express through drawing and painting okay thanks sandhya then we'll get into what visualization is not so what it is not uh, dreaming and believing it is true see what is obvious and doing things differently some misca- misconceptions here is dreaming is negative it's waste of time to think which is not true or real or can be seen rubrics you want no no the, that should be enough okay uh, the will uh, do an activity and then we can come back to this and discuss what actually visualization at least for us is this is the 
picture. Can you see it? Not yet. No, Rekha. No, no Rekha. Dikra, right? Uh, Rekha, it is just article while I speak for me. Oh, yeah, it's not uh, showing the picture. Ka ye? No, no. Maybe switch tabs. No, Rekha, what you do is you uh, stop share and reshare again. Okay. Now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we can see. Yeah, when you look at this picture, our uh, objective is to visualize. Visualization is the objective. So with the little bit theory that we went through till now, what is it that uh, comes to your mind of what visualization could be? This uh, image reminded me of Tetris game, so probably association. And one more is uh, views or angle. Anuj, maybe you can let Suhrut talk. He would be much more uh, better than I'm the... asking him because he's explaining it to me. So I'm asking him, do you want to share? No, you tell. I can see you. He left mouse. Left side? Yeah. Uh, how can you, can, do you want to explain? Like you explained to me. Mm -hmm. I can see this is Anything else? I'm. Uh, I just want to share that. Um, I just want to share that. Looking at this, I not. I'm not convinced that observation has to be. I mean, I don't know why I'm pressurizing myself to be so objective about my observation. Like what uh, Bhaval was saying before, also that. She always finds herself going into interpretation mode or meaning making mode. But I think that's so natural, right? You cannot, um, 
you can't observe something without putting it into your context or without connecting it to so many things that i mean especially when you are elevating the act of observation into the act of visualization you cannot sure. visualize without attaching meaning or or connecting uh, stories or building some context to it or putting it in some frame and why should you i don't understand the need to do that that's what has been bugging me about this for the last one week that i constantly seem to be putting pressure on myself to be very objective about observation but why should i be so i think chitra we are two extremes <laughs> <laughs> you know i i used to feel how can people not observe without any i mean why can't just people simply observe it and now i'm hearing you saying that why can't people just simply uh, uh, you know how can you observe without putting so yeah so what i what i'm trying to say is that yeah i can understand where you are coming from maybe when we will talk about the logic or when we will talk about this thing i'll be on the other side and you will be on this side how can people not have you know logical thinking on this that you know, this is so simple it just flows in a uh, kind of a thing so <clears throat> so the idea is also not to okay that's my my personal opinion the idea is not to perfect in all the intelligences uh but but realize it that 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 exists in many different forms in many different people around us so uh it's it's not not necessary that i should be able to observe without any uh, judgment yeah but i sh- if, if i'm aware that the observation is possible without judgment then i'm able to accept or i'm able to uh, i will i will even say appreciate the observation without uh judgment or visualization or you know those visual stories and um uh, you know taking time before composition i i'm i'm not the kind of child who will directly go into the drawing uh, sheet and start uh, you know uh, making something i take my time in in those cases i can i can just appreciate that process if the child or uh, you know if anybody around me is taking time to you know process that whole a uh, thing so i i think that's how oh. so and and yeah, but if you unpack this term process what is it it is nothing but putting a context in your mind when you're processing it you're connecting things you're trying to make meaning of it isn't not it uh, not necessary all the time uh, i may do a uh, hundreds of observations and uh, uh, have many visual stories and in compositions i may have just very few or maybe absolutely new compositions where i won't even know what has come from where in my composition if you ask me how did you get the idea of it i may not even able to tell you that how this composition came in my mind yeah but it it's like you know <clears throat> when you when you work on the land uh, there's so many things which you do you don't even know where it is coming from where uh, whether you work on body or land or or anything <clears throat> yeah so uh, not necessary it, it's like you know there is a very famous story which we have shared a number of times that this guy uh, i'm forgetting his name uh, one of these uh, painter he would go and uh, when watch, go when go he would go and watch the sun 100 times matlab 100 days he, and actually there is a movie where they show his is this process of observation but none of his um none of his compositions were direct result of his observations uh his composition style was absolutely different but but if you if we start dissecting it then then maybe we'll get into how did this color came and how did this color composition came and how did these lines appear it's a, it's it's a, it's a combination of lot of uh, whatever one has spent time in observation kind of thing you know i have a book which someone has published yeah. 100 100 sunsets 
yeah now now one can say what can you you know after 1 2 10 15 sunset what else can you do it but if you actually start looking at the details of each sunset then you realize that each sunset is different and even if i can go for 500 sunset the detail so that's the detailing when we talk about the observation yeah yeah i think we are saying the same thing aditi because like where, what i am also saying is it's not that we get into a observation part thinking I have to make meaning or I should mm. not. I don't think either way one should put pressure, okay? But what I'm saying is unconsciously the brain starts making connections. I may, like you said, like I am a writer. When I observe things, I file things away somewhere. Even if it is a beautiful petal somewhere, okay, the way it, I just observe it in a very objective way. I'm looking at it and I, I record the details. But ultimately when the process of visualization starts, if I have to create something, I don't know where those things which are filed away get connected and they get, uh, they have got processed somewhere, filed away somewhere, they get connected somewhere and somewhere that comes, whether as actual yeah, words so, that I yeah. saw a leaf yeah, so or what in the essence. So what you're talking about, the observation and then you're talking about the composition. You're actually I, not, huh? Yeah, I think in between there is a visualization phase for me at least. There's observation, there's visualization, and then there is the composition. But yeah, again, so, that could yeah, be. Yeah, so hmm. I think uh, that's where you are. You're saying I'm finding it difficult to visualizing before without any context. The moment we put in the context, and then you know processing starts happening. Uh, we are actually talking about the composition because now we are into the composing things where where things we are connecting. Yeah. Uh, there's a stage of visualization even in, in writing that, uh, you know, that's where all these things comes, you know, writers, uh, there are different writers point of view, then, they, you know, they, they the different writing styles and all those uh, kind of a thing, how, how uh, genre and all those kind of a thing, how um, even so, so, so. So, so even so I will still say the visualization is still not a stage where the composition starts. So visualization is a still a state where there, there is no context is required. Yeah, it's it's like, you know, just, just enjoying it, just being with it without any, as you're saying, pressure of, uh, you know, uh, creating something or making something out of it. That's where the composition we starts uh, uh, working on it. And, and uh, I think the frequency or the closeness of these phases can be very different in each process. But yeah, I, I can see that there can be three distinct phases, but they can literally be overlapping or so close yeah. or they can be very spaced out also. Yeah. And also uh, many of the times, many of us, including me, as we grow up, this visualization stage becomes very, very low for us because we are directly onto the composition state or maybe we have done enough of visualization and observation so we are into the compositions now but uh, it makes sense for us to create that awareness for our children means create those experiences for our children instead of getting directly onto the composition if we can bring the experiences of uh, uh, say <clears throat> observations and visualizations and visual stories and and talking about this like that's what i have been asking the art club you know it, it is more of a skill-based club where we are talking about the skills which is the third stage of composition so that's where i have been um, uh, you know <laughs> getting little uh, that okay how about bringing some visual uh, um, um, uh, uh, visual experiences, how about bringing some observation experiences, how about bringing some, uh, uh, you know, imagination uh, experiences, and then see how the composition, it may change, it may not change for our children. So, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and, and as you say, it's right, we don't need to be always saying that, okay, have I done visualization, or have I done observation, or only then I can go into the composition, but I think it's just a it's for the practice. Yeah. So Aditi, I had a question. Like, so the image that Rekha showed us, when we look at it and we say, you know, what do you visualize? And I, I can see something basis. So I put the context, like maybe, you know, I have seen a, a gift box and that one small cube reminded me of gift box. Now this reminded 
or a context of something I have seen comes in. So are we saying that is not visualizing? Uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm getting confused. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, yeah. So if you go into the deeper state of visualization and best visualization to learn is to go back to children. Yeah, because they're still, their minds are not, uh, um, I will say, the greased out with all these uh, context which they have seen. They, they might see. Um, uh, so so in, in this case, if I have to ask you to um, not visualize what you have already seen through a context, because you're, you're seeing, means I can, this is what I can see. This is uh, a composition. But if, if I see, uh, this composition, uh, suppose um, um, how how um, if, if an alien is looking this composition into the sky, you know what, what the alien will look like. Uh, how will the alien look at it? And then I describe that because then I'm going into my visual world. I'm 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 becoming an alien, and then I'm seeing these lines, and then I'm um, I'm seeing these dots, and then I'm seeing these. <laughs> Uh, um, uh, you know, merging, and I'm seeing some kind of, a, um, uh, you know, some kind of hole into it. Every uh, where the few lines are meeting, then I'm seeing a big hole, and then I'm seeing two holes going away, and and then I'm going into getting into my, uh, uh, you know, people call it the fantasy land or. <laughs> Uh, different kind of a thing. Yes. So, uh, what I am understanding, I had the same question what Anuj asked uh, that oh, composition and visualization we mix when we have our preconceived or whatever I have, I have seen. Maybe I am synthesizing two, three things, but yes, I am putting here. But when I give myself this command that, okay, I am being alien and I am seeing this, then I am coming up with some other uh, uh, perspective, is it? Uh, so, you know, uh, giving that prompt to my mind is, uh, is helping me to visualize, is it in from different perspective or, or probably actual, actual visualization, is it? Yeah, so we use visualization in many different forms. One is uh, li like, um, I, I don't know if you've heard visualization, um, visualizing of what it is really, it, it, it's supposed to be. Like, for example, um, in sports, they say, they not they say, they do also, and, and use uh, the visualization very strongly. Uh, <clears throat> like for example, if you are not getting that that perfect stroke of the swimming, uh, your hand stroke while you are swimming, your coach will ask you to visualize without moving your hand. That that see and and that goes direct command to your muscles. So so that's that's one kind of visualization. Another kind of visualization is when you see a different perspective because. Uh, my 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 looking at something is very limited as you were saying i can only see the cubes and i can actually see a mother and a child and i can see uh, say some some so so that's that's only my perspective that the moment i became alien then i started looking the lines and started looking the black holes and then i started looking things uh, you know <clears throat> in the in the zero gravity and and then i started looking things differently so so that's how that that's another kind of visualization yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't know what, what, what aspect were you asking? <laughs> oh, Morning when myself and Bhaval were talking about this, the same question popped up. Because uh, Bhaval ko ye kiya. is this visualization or composition? Pe ja rahe na, log? <laughs> because whatever visualization it says is uh, 
it's in the thoughts it's not at uh, on paper or uh, in a story form or in a some uh, structure form me nahi hai still in the thoughts so i just want to uh, sorry rekha i continue yeah yeah continue uh, uh, anuj wohi hoga same uh, question hoga so no worries <laughs> You no, know, so I was I was thinking of another way round. So when when I'm generally like sitting and watching some patterns on a door, you know, the wooden polish or whatever, and maybe some watermarks on it, I kind I kind of make a, can make an image out of it. You know, I can see a horse or a cloud. Now this is composition. Does it does it jump to composition then? <laughs> Because I'm connecting the dots and the lines that Alien was seeing. and i'm making a car out of it or a cloud out of it so then is it that i have jumped the composition directly <laughs> but even to the point of that seeing the alien isn't that attaching meaning <laughs> isn't it observation in my mind just seeing dots squares even saying that they are squares first of all is attaching meaning and giving it context i am just say, uh, my only argument is that you cannot separate these with such you know such precision even anuj like i don't think uh, the f- f- effort is to say okay which phase am i in technically right now i think the idea is to know the the sort of the flow of of the process to just like aditi use the word awareness i think having that awareness is a powerful thing it can be you know used in different ways but usually unfortunately most of the time we are just looking without seeing anything that itself is what we <laughs> we're so busy and distracted all the time you know that you didn't have to say that awareness kis ka hona chahiye like what that should i be aware coming. of it is visualization like movie coming in my mind i uh, god must be crazy yeah so this guy doesn't have any vocabulary so all he has to do it through his through his expression so yeah so i think chitra what you're saying just because we have vocabulary we 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 place it yeah to this point yeah. it will be place it <clears throat> so 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 if you if you ask me to describe my visualization i have to place the vocabulary but if you just let me visualize maybe i will not maybe i will i i don't know so then when you say aditi that we have to bring more visual experiences for kids and for ourselves what am i supposed to do <laughs> can i can i say something to that one because i have really been thinking about it last one week is i think it is just this it is not um, i think mostly we are just so distracted and blinded going back to the earlier thing just even starting to uh, make our children aware that okay even uh, like there is there is a depth to even just looking at something which seems like nothing which seems irrelevant like for example we do an activity zohar and myself it's called everything about something okay and uh, we really enjoy doing this um we take anything like last week it was a egg he chose a egg okay and we just put it in front of us and we write everything we can okay so the shape size all that comes first the very obvious stuff then comes the characteristics it is fragile if you crush it it will break then what the uses can be what all you can do with it what science effect can have if you put it in vinegar what will happen if you you can have it boiled and we get into so many directions but the point is just the point is not about dissecting the egg as much as for him to just be aware that everything has so many aspects and elements but you have to see them usually it's just lying their eggs are lying in the kitchen children won't even notice i think just building up that power of awareness that there are objects there is you know so much depth to every object that's for me at least sorry i don't mean to say that's the right way or anything which is for me that's the meaning i found in this whole exercise with my child yeah so you should share this about the egg so we all can do this <laughs> okay then i did also i feel then this thing of visualizing 
loving comes, uh, as you said, night spoke, it's maybe as we grow, we lose that. Because if I'm, um, we are going out and uh, we are in a particular environment, whatever, maybe a play area. Uh, maybe Suvrut is observing a lot of things which I'm not aware of. It's just getting in uh, to him and he's absorbing. Maybe he's visualizing also. And then maybe when he comes and I see him after months or whatever drawing, he can still draw references at times from what he would have seen a few months back or years back. Uh, so even just exposing kids to various types of environments may bring this experience to them. Is, is that also okay? Like, yeah, exposing is one and if I'm not utilizing, it can die down also. And, and also uh, in the world where, where the composition is at the highest degree, you know, unless you create a good painting, you are not, 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 a, not, 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 not a painter kind of a thing. Then I, I, as a person, is also not giving much attention to observation and visualization. I'm directly jumping onto the uh, painting. Yeah. Naturally, I might have developed that, uh, that capability, that able, a, ability, and then I don't need to worry. I can do I can do that processing on my own. You know, every time I want to start a composition, I will give myself an hour before I start composition. But this is not something which, if I, it's not coming naturally to, to me, I will start getting into the composition and then I might start struggling. I'm not a good painter. Uh, okay, and, and there is also a difference between uh, these abilities and the skills. I, I'm, I'm pretty good with visual abilities, but I, but I still need the skills. I need the skills of, say, perspective, sketching, uh, maybe uh, hand, hand, hand skills. So that's something, the skills development. Okay. But if the skill development is, is, is added with my, my, my abilities, then then the chances are that I'm, I'm, I'm understanding myself. I'm, I'm understanding that, that that's something which I can, you know, no, no, which I can relish. I, I'm talking purely from a visual experience right now since, since I, I come from a very strong visual ability background kind of a thing. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I can just. I, I, uh, whatever I've heard, I still have, I mean, uh, I'm able to see that there is uh, a difference with observation, visualization and composition. And there is a very thin line which is differentiating all these three. And somewhere that thin line is still not clear for me. I mean, it's it's like you know. Um, sometimes you know, visualization is also falling into observation, and uh, sometimes visualization is falling into composition. So it's still not uh, clear how to segregate them. If you ask me, Sandhya, we don't need to yeah. segregate them. But yeah. uh, if you see the the document which Rekha was referring it to. It was just to uh, just to bring to our attention that there is so much. Okay. There is there, there is there, there is so much possible. Yeah. Okay. And, and and I wanted to make sorry sorry I think yeah, you finished. No no I was saying I also wanted to share the, about that same activity that. For both my children, just Sandhya, in response to you, because for each person it's different. Like in that same activity that we do with the egg, my younger one straight away goes into the realm of imagination. Mm -hmm. So an egg is never just an oval object which can be cooked or anything. He is into outer space and rockets and he's gone there with that egg. And Zohar is very much, you know, starting, my elder one starts with the physical observation, the dimension, shape, size, characteristics, and gets into the geography of it, the history of it, you know, the science of it, whatever disciplinary related, he will relate to those concepts. So to each one, they have their own process of observing that and making meaning out of it. So I don't, yeah, I think it's quite a unique experience. 
yeah and also now that you know there's a there are these the, these possibility exist you are able to i'm not saying after the session but then earlier also when you're doing this egg you're able to appreciate two different styles of responding to the same same experience So, so we actually don't need to segregate them like science, maths, English. They are actually not so clear. They don't need to be, as subjects are also not so, so, so. Exactly. Department <laughs> life. Okay. 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 I can't see English. But then, uh, how do we? Not history. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but uh, like uh, how the the question what Anuj asked. So how do we actually bring this, uh, you know, to the child? That's the next homework which Bhaval and Rick is going to give to us. Actually, ho, today today got to understand that difference in ability and skill. <laughs> That's a take home for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, home and to home add to bubble uh, we have for me also it's like oh this is the difference between ability and skill that kind of like hit me like whoa okay <laughs> how interchangeably you use that and when you brought like uh, Aditi uh, about ability I was like okay so what is the what's the fine line and you have differentiated ability and skill and when I was planning I was like it was all mixed up for me um, the other question I have to add to this is um, what about intelligence? Is that also a different dimension or does intelligence no, no, intelli come under ability? No, no, intelligence is same. It's ability. Okay. okay. Not using the term intelligence right now um, uh, in, in, the, in the whole community space because the intelligence is, you know, intelligent kind. I'm that intelligent. I'm visual intelligent kind. You know, I'm okay. kind of a thing. So not using the term intelligence. Uh, it's just the Jagrati people ke liye secret ki there is something called intelligence exist. <laughs> okay, okay. I thought, my God, then I was like third dimension. Ye kya hai? What's the difference between intelligence and this? So thank you, Aditi. <laughs> no, that's a secret for Jagrati was done. They know the intelligence exists. Otherwise, for the children, it doesn't exist. It's just the ability. That's how it's the cat of my life, you know. <laughs> that's how the ability, the word, the word came so, kitne enlightened log ho, ho <laughs> So many enlightenments have happened. <laughs> yeah, God, ability and intelligence is same ball. So, we take here. right now. <laughs> yeah, so don't worry. Uh, when we were beginning, uh, you guys are a little lucky that uh, you have all these, un unlucky also because you already have these documents in place to get confused. Uh, when we were beginning our journey, we said, okay, something needs to be done. So we did a kind of, a, you know, all the detailing, what was in our mind, putting, documenting. There, there are huge um, more of these uh, documents are there. <clears throat> that helped us to, you know, I think I can just rattle kind of a thing. Uh, so so not 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 about rattling, but yeah, I, I think that's something which has really, really, really helped to understand the things around me, including the people, including the, the people's responses. You know, when I got married, it was so difficult. Malab, during that phase, when I was just growing up, it was so difficult to understand that how can someone not understand that, you know, this place is not looking appealing. <laughs> this corner is not looking appealing kind of a thing. It was so difficult that... It, it's so it, it's so logical <laughs> to see beauty in this corner you know I, I I still understand I still know my but when I started and then I started realizing that okay yeah 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 how how is the same thing that for me uh, a, a kind of a, a, you know scientific thinking or or logical thinking doesn't come very naturally to me. I have to spend my energies to understand that or or to bring forcefully into my 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 working. So you know that that's very interesting. That how how I'm able to see 
what others are not able to see and what others are able to see, I'm not able to see. So in that way, we both are same. <laughs> so the whole accounting is balanced kind of a thing. So what right now i'm thinking aditi after listening to all of this is um like this week uh, i've taken up reading wonder in the reader's side of stuff i'm thinking how to introduce visual intelligence i never looked at a book and thought about yes imagining characters imagining situations all of that is that's okay but i'm like really trying to see what are the other elements that can be introduced by just reading a book in terms of visual ability uh that's where I'm thinking. <laughs> so Chitra will say, how it can't come naturally to you. It's so simple. <laughs> because it's so, so easy for her to naturally get into all those things. Yes. Yeah, so do we want to, Rekha, do we want to decide action point, our dear homework? <laughs> also, yeah, also one of the visualization, uh, uh, you know, that's where some of us are getting confused is that visualization or application also. Uh, possibly that's what Chitra, you were saying. Yeah, now I'm getting into the compositions and I'm, before I create something, I visualize something. Uh, uh, you know, how exactly it will happen? How will I... Um, when I'm attending an interview, what are the details happening in that? How will I go? I will sit and then, you know, people will ask me a question. Then am I getting sweat on my face or, you know, kind of a thing. I'm just visualizing. The, and if I if actually the people say that if you visualize it hundreds of times and then you keep on changing your face expression, the chances are that your muscle memory has developed. And then when you're going in front of the interview, uh, you are not sweating it out because that's not what you want kind of a thing so you visualize it confident person and answering even if you don't know accepting it and all those kind of things so uh, so uh, uh, just those thin lines we are talking about uh, just thinner line before the composition where i can also visualize the composition <laughs> yes have a uh, like the other day, one parent was there. He was saying, I visualized so much in detail all my travel journey. Ki mein, uh, exactly how will I take the trolley and then I will exchange the tickets. And he says, I, I detail it out so much every time I travel. It helps me to pack my thing. Because then I can see, oh, this is missing when I'm doing this. Oh, this is missing when I'm doing it. So that's fine. Before he goes to airport, he does all this for him. Yes, Pavel and Rekha, over to you. Oh, lots are going on, at least for me. <laughs> A lot of workout to be done. I'm still kind of getting here. Uh, so action point do we want to all of us want to watch God must be crazy <laughs> do we want to keep it as a homework <laughs> and write review and write your thoughts about it on the chat <laughs> yes yeah I think that would be good yeah very nice <laughs> hmm Anything else we can add, like action point or whatever we do, we can keep posting on the channel. I think what Bindu was sharing, what Chitra was sharing about the egg, what Bindu was sharing about the wonder. Um, um, hmm. I guess let's collect all those details. Yes. Yeah, so uh, probably uh, one watching movie and the other one uh, share one idea, like how are we uh, doing visualization at home? So one share. Yeah. 
plus one movie watching must must homework <laughs> अनुज So, uh, oh, I yes, I uh, I showed a thumbs up. Sorry, yes. <laughs> uh, I, I just want to express that uh, uh, last time I was working with Bhaval, and then I said, "Now I'm absolutely out." And I was feeling shy. Co- call Aiga, call Aiga. But I, I felt at the night, I mean, the, at the end of the day or whatever, end of the week, feeling great that you guys didn't call me and ask, "Kya karna hai?" Kind of a thing. <laughs> अरे बक्स नहीं है आदिति यू आर नॉट वेल नो सो आई थॉट बाबा अभी नहीं बहुत मन कर रहा था और वो भी डर लग रहा था कि अरे आदिति नहीं होगी तो क्या करेंगे सेशन में सो दैट टू वी थॉट दैट अच्छा बहुत सारी एक्टिविटीज रख लेते So then she can comment. <laughs> so Bhavan so and Nirika are going to be happy. I will call you. Today hey, our activity. Hey, we, we will. will. Don't okay. worry. We are all sailing in the same boat. Are, are appreciation the le lo stories baad me batana without <laughs> behind that. <laughs> so the tagging is to for someone to take over the next next session. Next session. मुझे बता दो नेक्स्ट सेशन कंपोजिशन करेंगे बिकॉज कंपोजिशन वी टच राइट दो वी डिड नॉट डू द एक्टिविटी बट वी टच एंड वी आर विल बी डूइंग द होमवर्क एटलीस्ट हाउस में सो वील मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट एबिलिटी राइट विच एबिलिटी Which do you want to select, Anuj? Acha, koi bhi. Tumara, ha. Let it be secret, Acha. Anuj. Secret, ha. I will not. Ha, ha. Secret. Or oh. abhi tino milky karenge. Yes. Ah, tino milky karenge. Yes. Yes. Bhavan, I will not bug you. Don't worry. No, no. Which one do you like? Because I want to learn. <laughs> Yeah, happy oh, to pitch hi. in. Too. Sorry, I just overheard. Just happy to pitch in for whatever ability you want. If you need to pick up something, and you can speak next week, secret Santa. Secretly, yes. Anu tagging will be next week. Kadiya Bindu ne self volunteered. That's called volunteered. New, no? Volunteered. Oh, volunteered. Yeah, new word. एकदम मस्त वर्ड है थैंक्स फॉर गिविंग दैट वर्ड आई आई एम जस्ट यू नो यस्टरडे आई वाज गोइंग टू दैट वर्ड अगेन दैट अच्छा दिस वर्ड इज नाइस चलो बाय थैंक यू थैंक यू बाय थैंक यू बाय बाय